Who were the Nephilim and how did they survive the flood? Well, my understanding, I know that there's some disagreement about uh, Genesis 6, but my understanding is that B'nai Elohim, the sons of God, looked on the daughters of men and saw they were fair and married, married them, and then the result was of this interbreeding was uh, the Nephilim, which were giants. Um, in brief defense of that reading, uh, the other reading is that, that the sons of God were the godly line of Seth, who c were corrupted and fell into, uh, fell into sin by marrying the uh, daughters of men. The problem with that is that all the masculinity is on one side and all the femininity on the other. It's the sons of God and the daughters of men. And then the end result of this intermarriage is giants, which is not what you usually get when a Christian marries a non-Christian. And, and, and so I think there's more going on than that. Also, in the book of Jude, um, Jude is very explicit that the angels who left their prov proper habitation um, in the same manner as these, referring to Sodom and Gomorrah, went after strange flesh. So I, I, think it's pretty, I think it's pretty clear, at least to me, that there was some sort of celestial, terrestrial intermarriage, the end result being the Nephilim, the giants. In Greek mythology, the Titans. Um, so, and, and it's significant, although that we have tantalizing little uh, comments in Scripture. Jesus went and preached to the spirits who were disobedient at the time of Noah not just disobedient spirits from the Old Testament, but at the time of Noah. So there's something, there's something big that's going on there. Uh, so, uh, the, so then the question, if the giants were the end result of this marriage and then there was the flood, what do we do with Nephilim after the flood? What, um, where do they come from? Weren't they all killed in the flood? And I would say, yeah, they were all, uh, they were all killed in the flood. So there are different possibilities. One is that the same thing happened again after the flood, only not on, uh, only not as, uh, on as grand a scale. Uh, another possibility is that, which I think is just a possibility on paper, but the, 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 the genetic material from this misbehavior was preserved on the ark, in other words, th through Noah's family. Uh, I don't think that that would be true if God's whole point was to, to wipe it out. Why would he, why would he preserve it? Uh, and then the other, I think the most likely explanation, is that the giants, the Anakim, the Nephilim, after the flood, are simply given the same name. as uh, so, so the giants after the flood are uh, NBA player giants, uh, you know, um, big human beings, not, not anything supernatural, and that they were given the same name as the Nephilim before the flood.